I thought you said it was free Wi-Fi in here, Katie. Well, it is. It says on the door. Jade, don't put that in your mouth. Right. Got it. I'm connected. All I've got to do now is point my free Wi-Fi connection at the Student Connections website. This is quite exciting, isn't it? Yes, I enjoyed the opening session yesterday. I can only log in as me. So you two can look over my shoulder? Jade, can you stop pulling my hair, please? I think she likes you, Neil. So, what's happening? Well, it's just people logging on at the moment. The keynote doesn't start until... one. Another five minutes. This is Meg Barker, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. This is going to be really interesting. Did you read the blurb on her research interests? I was going to, but I never quite got round to it. She's interested in sexuality, particularly gay, lesbian, transgender, and all that sort of thing. It's really interesting stuff. OK, sounds as if it's about to start. That was brilliant. She was really good, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Really interesting. What does she teach on? I must try to get on one of her courses. Can I close this down? I think Jade is going to wake up in a minute, so we might have to leave. So when does our podcast go up? Uh, I think they're going to put them up each day, every hour. Yeah, and ours is due to be unveiled at... 11am. And I'm going to miss it because I'm working. It'll still be there. Look, I'm going to go. Let's chat tomorrow. Perhaps we'll get some feedback. Do you know what she said? What? It'll be fine. You've not been in his life for so long, he'll soon forget all about you. Forget about me. That's what she wants. That's what she's always wanted. It's her way of punishing me. Well, what's she punishing you for exactly? Breathing. And who can blame her? Uh, listen, can I slope off for a couple of minutes? Why? What are you up to? Just want to check the conference website and see if our podcast has been uploaded. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. It's nearly tea break time. Go on, off you go. OK, Jade. Now, I put Peppa Pig over here. Let's see if you can find her. This is called Hide and Seek. You don't have to knock, Cher. It's your flat. Just checking you were decent. Everything OK? We were just playing hide and seek. She's not very good. She takes the toy before I can hide it. Look, I'm going to pop for a Chinese. Do you want me to get you something? Let me just check my purse. You can owe me if you want. Cher, I'm so grateful to you for letting me stay. But you know, you have to say if you want us to go. Don't be so stupid. You can stay as long as you want. Have you heard from the bank? Yeah, they turned me down. So I still owe all that money. I talked to my landlord, Mr Yes I N. What did he say? He was really good, actually. He kept saying Jade reminded him of his little girl. He offered me a job to help pay it off. Well, that's great. What sort of job? He needs somebody to clean in some offices he owns. He said he could stop the back rent out of my wages. What about Jade? Well, that's the problem. I could take her with me, but I'm not sure that's a great idea. Anyway, I haven't said yes or no yet. But on a brighter note... Now, that's the Katie I know. Our podcast went live yesterday. We got some really nice comments from people. One from Meg Barker. Who's Meg Barker? Oh, she's this brilliant academic from the OU. She's got a fantastic blog and she said that our podcast was, what was the word? Here we are. Inspirational. Fantastic. Well done. Are you around tomorrow night at all? Tim's coming over. Why? It doesn't matter. Just a daily telegraph, please. Thank you. Katie! Donna, what are you up to? I was just taking a walk and I stopped to pick up a paper for Ted. What are you doing up here? This is a bit out of your way, isn't it? I was just walking aimlessly. I can't stay cooped up in one room all day. We're both going to go nuts. I live just round here. Why don't we go to mine and have a cuppa? Are you sure? Of course. I've got some of the girls' old toys in the attic. I was wondering if Jade would like them. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
You're going to wear a hole in the carpet if you don't stop pacing. And what's with all this muttering? I'm practising my speech. What speech? I'm doing a presentation tomorrow at the online conference. This is the thing with your girlfriends, is it? They're not girlfriends. Well, they are friends. And they are girls. But not like you mean. Ted, I'm on the conference, so don't disturb me. OK, what shall I join? I wonder whether Kate is online tonight. I'll Skype her. Hiya. You at the conference? Yeah. Have you been to all the keynotes? Yes, I enjoyed Graham Pike. He was really interesting. Jackie Gabb and Janet Fink were good on enduring love. I don't know why that appeals to me. Possibly because most of my relationships have lasted around seven minutes. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Well, there's only one choice. Look who's presenting. Oh, goodness. Is that Arnie? Or... Yes, it is. Oh, we must support him. He never said a word. The sly old fox. OK. My presentation is on why social science matters. It seems obvious to me that social science is really important. I think it matters because it affects the lives of real people. My mum and nan, for instance, were both nurses in the NHS. They spent their lives helping other people. But what evidence was there that we needed the NHS? An important source was from statistics, many compiled by social scientists working for the government, which showed clearly that working people were likely to die younger than rich or the middle classes. So when people question the rights of people to free health care, they do so on the basis that such is a right and not a necessity. Many of those people claim to be following Adam Smith. So, to put these people straight, in conclusion, I'd just like to finish with a quote from Adam Smith himself. By necessaries, I understand not only the commodities which are indispensably necessary for the support of life, but also whatever the customs of the country renders it indecent for creditable people, even of the lowest order, to be without. The poorest person would be ashamed to appear in public without them. That's it. Thank you. That was brilliant, mate. Fantastic. Well done. Ah, oh, look at all them little smiley faces you're getting. They like you. Oh, it's Katie. Hello. Neil, I just watched your presentation. You were brilliant. Oh, it was really good. I just wanted to tell you how proud I was. I was thinking, is this the same Neil who bought me a cup of tea once? <laughs> Well, it was nothing really. I completely forgot one bit. Well, it didn't show. Look, I have to go. I just wanted to say well done. Oh, thanks, Katie. Who's that now? Your agent? Hi, Donna. You were super, Neil. Well done. That was the best presentation I've seen all conference. Oh, you're just saying that. I mean it. You set the bar very high. I've got mine to do on Friday. Uh, I, I know. I, I'm sorry I can't be there. I'll be working. Oh, don't worry. But I'm going to have to rewrite it now after watching yours. Where did you find all those pictures? Most of them were just on Google, but some on other sites too. But I'll send you a list. Well, well done you. I'd better go. Bye. Looks like you're the talk of the town, mate. I suppose I'd better buy you a pint to celebrate.